in the marketing space, we're just trying to get more customers, grow the business, maintain profitability so we can support both the people, the employees within the company, continue to service our customers at a high level. Why does it matter how we do it? Well, there's two ancient proverbs that I want to share, which I think will really uh, give some texture to that question. Because I think at the face of it, we all know it matters because how you build something matters just as much, if not more than the destination, right? You can build a million dollar business, a multi-million dollar business, but if you do it because you're scamming people, then that's not something that you can really go to sleep feeling really great about at night, right? That how you build your business matters. So the first proverb is bread gained by deceit is sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth will be full of gravel. And I think with this, the, the reason I think this is so relevant for us as marketers is because in the moment when we're in the midst of optimizing things and A-B testing things and trying to get something just really dialed in to outperform everything else we could possibly do. In the initial euphoria of discovering something that works, we can kind of sideline these laws of honest marketing and instead celebrate the fact that, hey, we may have fudged the number a little bit. We may have overemphasized one particular testimonial case study. We may have you know, not been totally upfront about the reasonable expectations people can have when they buy our product, but look at those results. I mean, how do you argue with that? But afterwards, there's that ap that bitter aftertaste of, you know, was it really worth it? Was that extra 1% conversion worth what I had to sacrifice to get there? And that's only something you can answer. But if you're listening to this podcast, my guess is probably not. Uh, and then the second ancient proverb I want to share with you has more to do with your reputation as a brand and as a person. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver or gold. And there's something that I've seen written multiple places, and it's always really struck me when it comes to branding, when it comes to reputation, especially online, is that it's very difficult to build a great reputation. It is very easy to lose it. And so when you think about the reputation that your brand has, what people say about your company when you're not there, when they're in a conversation with a friend and they're talking about the experience of you know, using your software, using your product, how you've helped them grow their business, whatever it is that you do, are you creating a good reputation because of the way that you market, because of the way that you promote yourself, because of the way you position your product in the marketplace or not? So I, I think how you grow your business matters, right? That you can grow a business on top of deceit, not being straight with people. But at the end of the day, is that really what you want your legacy to be? Is that really what matters most? Or is it the people you get to serve? That's the question only you can answer. But I think if we're really honest, let's, let's go with the one that we can sleep good at night, where we really are serving people, we really are making a positive difference in people's lives with our businesses, and that the impact extends far beyond the initial purchase. Well, hey there, I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Honest Marketing Podcast. If you wanna watch the entire episode, you can click right here and watch it right now. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get new videos every single week.